Hi Sephora fans, my name is Danielle and I work at Sephora Garden City in Cranston, Rhode Island. Today I'm going to be teaching you how I create this pink chic look using the Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. If you want to learn how to make this look at home, keep watching! So I've already completed my complexion and I'm ready to get started on my eye look. I'm going to begin by priming my eyes with the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer in the shade number 1 Pink Porcelain. I apply a small amount to a finger and gently pat onto the eyelid, being careful of the delicate eye area. I love to use this concealer as a primer because it creates a neutral base and it really helps the colors that I put over it pop. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using the Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills to create this eye look. I'll start by using this lighter shade called Base. As the name implies, it's a great shade for a base and I use it all over my eye area. I'm applying it using the Sephora Collection Pro All Over Shadow Brush number 12. Next up, I'll be using the shade Love, which is a gorgeous warm pink, and I'll be applying it to my crease. For this step, I'm using the Sephora Collection Pro Blending Brush number 27. I use small sweeping and circular motions to apply the color and blend evenly. I absolutely love how this color makes my blue eyes pop. I'd like to warm this look up a little bit, so I'll be using the shade Incense in the crease as well and blending it into the pink shade. For this, I'll be using the same brush, number 27. This helps add warmth and more definition. The next shade I'll be using is called Drama which is a lovely deep eggplant shade, and I'll be using it in my outer corner. I first pack the color into the outer corner using the Sephora Collection Pro Packing Shadow number 13. Once I have packed the color onto the outer lid, I go back in with brush number 27 to blend it in evenly. So once again, I am packing drama onto the outer corner with brush number 13, and then going back in with brush number 27 to create a seamless blend. I love how these colors look together. For my lid, I'm going to be using one of my favorite shades in this palette, which is called Wild Child. I'll be using Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray before the application. I'm spritzing a small amount of the setting spray onto my index finger before dipping my finger into Wild Child and then sweeping across the lid. In areas that don't have as much pigmentation of the color, I just gently press more shadow to create an even look. I want this color to be pretty intense, and the all-nighter setting spray definitely helps create that effect. I go back in with brush number 27 so that there's no harsh lines, and the lid shade blends evenly with the crease. Once again, I'm spritzing my finger for the other eye, dipping my finger into Wild Child, and sweeping across the lid. And the color is absolutely gorgeous. Doing a quick blend with number 27 so that it is seamless and well blended. I'm going back to shade Drama because I do want to deepen the look a little bit more. And with brush 27, I'm taking a small amount of drama and just intensifying the outer corners a little bit more for my liking. Once I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to be moving on to my lower lash line using the shade Volatile. For my lower lash line, I apply using the Sephora Collection Pro Smudge number 11 brush, and I just follow the lash line with the shade. This will help to open my eye and finish the shadow look. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm using one of my favorite liquid liners, the Pat McGrath Labs Perma Precision Liquid Eyeliner. I like to start by lining the inner corner of my eye first, and I keep it as close to the lash line as possible, moving towards the outer corner. I start off with a very thin line following the lash line before flicking out into the wing shape. Once I've created the top of the wing, I connect the bottom line to the top line of the wing and proceed to fill the wing in. Once the wing is filled, I go back and make adjustments with the liner so that the line is smooth and evenly applied. For the second eye, I once again began with the inner corner, moving on to the middle, following the lash line as closely as possible, and then I flicked it out to create that wing, trying to replicate the length and shape of my other eye. Mascara is an absolute must for me. My new favorite is the NARS Climax Mascara. It's an absolute must. I love how volumizing it is, and how it creates the perfect look and the perfect amount of drama. Because I'm someone who doesn't typically wear false lashes, I usually do several coats so that I get that full effect. I then apply the mascara to the bottom lashes to help open up my eyes further and intensify the look. This completes my eye look, and I will now move on to my lips. To create my lip look, I'm going to start by using the Sephora Collection Rouge Gel Lip Liner. This is shade one, which is called the Nudist. It's a very nude, light pink, 
and I apply it to my natural lip line. I love the way that this product glides onto the lips. It's super smooth and very easy to apply. I just do my lip line, so I use a finger to gently pat the lip liner so it will blend evenly into my lipstick. For my lipstick, I'm using the Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Volupte Shine Oil and Stick Lipstick in the shade Pink in Confidence, number eight. I'm just going to gently pat this on the lips and pat my lips together to make sure that it's blended into the lip liner. I'm gonna top this lip look off with another new favorite, which is the NARS Full Vinyl Lip Lacquer in the shade Santo Domingo. I only want to apply a little bit as a top coat, so I'm scraping some of the product off onto the tube and just lightly applying to my lips. It adds a really nice pink gloss. If you're a fan of high shine products, I definitely recommend this one. To finalize this look, I will be spritzing one of my favorite fragrances, which is called 2AM Kiss by Derek Lamb 10 Crosby. I love how warm and spicy this scent is. It's definitely one of my favorites. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to let me know what you think of this look in the comments below. And like and subscribe to Sephora's channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. See you next time.